Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video about the least common multiple. So for the first page, you're gonna take notes with me, and we're gonna do a couple problems together, and then you have a chance to try some problems on your own, and then at the end you can see how you did. All right, so to find the least common multiple of numbers eight and five, you have to list the multiples. So now there's different ways of doing this, but I find this to be the easiest one. So when I say list the multiples, what I mean by is, well, five times one is five, that's the first multiple of five. Five times two is uh, 10. Five times three is 15. Five times four is 20. Five times five is 25. Five times six is 30. Five times seven is 35. Five times eight is 40. And five times nine is 45. Now sometimes you'd go a little bit further, but this should give us what we need here. All right, now let me list the multiples of eight. So eight times one is eight. Eight times two is 16. Eight times three is 24. Eight times uh, four is 32. And eight times five is 40. And I'm gonna stop there because I notice that the five and the eight both have a common multiple of 40. So 40 is our least common multiple. So let's write down LCM equals 40. Now, there's gonna be other common multiples, like say 80 and 120, but those aren't the least, all right? Now here's the big idea about this. Let's, let's put a star right here, all right? Now how exactly is the least common multiple used? All right, the least common multiple is used when you add fractions, because the least common multiple is often gonna be the, the new denominator when you add fractions. So how is the LCM used? All right, the LCM is often the least common denominator. All right, so in the future, you're gonna to need to find the least common denominator of numbers, and that's gonna be the least common multiple. All right, so now that you understand how to use the list method to find the LCM, why don't you pause the video and try the your turn now problems, and when you're done, hit play, you can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's see what I do with these practice problems. So you had to use the list method to find the least common multiple of these numbers pairs. So here we have nine and six and 10 and eight. So let's list the first few multiples of nine. So nine times one is nine. Nine times two is 18. Nine times three is 27. Nine times four is 36. And nine times five is 45. All right, for six, six times one is six. 6 times 2 is 12, and 6 times 3 is 18. Now I'm going to stop there because here we have a common multiple, and that's the least one, right? So the LCM of 9 and 6 is going to be 18. All right, now the last one, 10 and 8. Well, let's list the multiples of 10. So it's going to be 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. And then for eight, well, eight times one is eight, eight times two is 16, eight times three is 24, eight times uh, four is 32, and eight times five is 40, there it is. If you notice, we have a common multiple here of 40. So the least common multiple of eight, uh, 10 and eight is 40. All right, how'd you do?